Welcome back. You know why I'm excited? Let me tell you why I'm excited. I get to work with my man, Ming Tsai, and I don't get to work with him very often. I watch his shows all the time on TV. I love Simply Ming. I love everything this guy does because he is such a talented and skilled chef, and he breaks things down and makes it so easy for you. What I want to show you in this hour is his combination um, uh, pressure cooker and air fryer. To me, it's the, it is the best model I think available out there at this incredible price because it does it all. You will not have to use your regular oven all summer long. Why? It does everything. It'll cook almost anything in your house. Imagine cooking a full chicken dinner in about 45 minutes versus two to three hours. And I'm talking a full out big chicken dinner with gravy and all the wonderful things that go along with it. Getting a chicken cooked not only from the inside but crisp on the outside. Because remember, this is not just a pressure cooker, it is all also an air fryer. The breakdown is simple. One side of buttons for air fry, one side of buttons uh, for doing pressure cooking, and then you combine the two to get the most amazing results ever. The capacity, six and a half quarts, boom, right on the money. That's what you want. You think about how much energy it costs to heat that oven up back there, big giant oven this big. Why would you cook something this big in something that big when you don't have to? You're gonna save a fortune there. This is gonna save you a fortune, not only through the summer, the hottest months where you don't want to heat the oven up, it's going to do that, but all year long, and you can do everything in it, and Ming makes it super duper simple. I have two colors to choose from. It comes in red, comes in white, everything you need to cook the most delicious meals coming up a little bit later. All right, I'm going to head over to our main area. Follow me over. Where am I going over here? All the way over. Come on. We're going to walk. I'm getting my steps in. See? All right. We're going to go with knives. So before Ming uh, comes out or gets available on Skype, let me tell you, really quickly, I worked in the restaurant business for about 20 years, and one of the jobs I had was buying restaurant equipment. So I would buy pots and pans, I would buy cutlery, all that stuff. And I know the difference between really, really good cutlery and stuff that's, eh, you know, this is top of the line, really good cutlery. And it's perfect for Father's Day. So if you're looking to get, you know, dad loves knives. He'll take them for doing anything he's doing, whether he's filleting a trout or he's, you know, cutting bread, whatever it is, you're going to get an incredible set of knives. It's a five knife set. It comes with this beautiful espresso wood block. You get every knife, your chef's knife, your slicer, your bread knife, you get a utility knife, you get a paring knife, and you get the knife block itself. These have an incredible technology called uh, 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 ceramic diamond surface technology. Very similar to like, you know how we have some divots and grooves in a Sentoku knife that helps the food release? Well, this combines the grooves in the diamond pattern, but also that ceramic diamond finish to make things release, release very, very easily. And I will tell you, these knives are absolutely spectacular. They're beautifully made. They have a great comfort look. And if you come in, I want to show you that you can actually see the diamond fleck technology inside there. They are beautiful. They're well balanced. Look at the sale price today. If you're thinking dad for Father's Day, so am I. My son Danny, if you're watching, I will take these in a heartbeat. $33.95 marked down from $61.99. You know, it's, it's like we say, if, you, if you're an auto mechanic, the first thing you go and buy is you go and you buy good tools. And I know Ming will agree. First thing, you gotta surround yourself with good tools and good cookware. And there's my man standing by, Ming Tsai. It's good to finally Pleasure. be working with you again, my friend. <laughs> Guy, great to see you, man. How's life? You okay? You're life looking is good. good. Looking kids, good. kids growing up, you know, all that stuff. But yeah. we're good. But you know how much, I, I mean, I, like I said, I love watching you cook and I love watching your shows. You gotta start out somewhere and I think your knife set is perfect for yeah. anybody out there, especially people that are afraid of knives or don't know how to use them. There's a lot yep. of technology that makes it easy. Yeah, I, I, let me go through if I may, just two sure. seconds. So you mentioned the knife block. Knife block doesn't just look good. The reason I have the knife block this way horizontal is because most knife blocks, as you know, are this way. Yeah. The problem with that is every time you take your knife in and out, you're rubbing it on wood and you're dulling your knife, right? So instead, I have a low profile, you just lay the knife in, and it doesn't dull, right? There's enough air, because you need air for knives to breathe, and of course, these are the only five knives you need. So let me just talk about the specifics of the knife. You mentioned the diamond pattern, and because of that, you said it. Things release better, so you can get through things easier, hence it's a sharper knife. The handle, it's rubber, because our hands get wet in the kitchen, right? And it's ergonomic design that your middle finger goes here, because to properly hold a knife is actually with your index finger and your thumb, this way. So this is for your middle finger, and you can never really have the knife released. And the worst thing that you know for cheap knives is just that wiggle 
between yeah. the handle and the blade. It's impossible. This is molded on, like melted on. It can, it's impossible for it to ever loosen up. So what do you get? You get that beautiful chef knife. You get your slicer, which is fantastic for filleting fish. You get your serrated. Serrated is so key, especially everyone's doing the sourdough breads and stuff. Fantastic sure. for bread and tomatoes. And your two little knives, which I love. You got your paring knife, which is great for fruit and whatnot. And then you have this nice utility knife. So I use them all, but here's my test. And I encourage anyone that's watching, take a vegetable, take whatever, take your knife upside down, drop your zucchini on it. It has to stick right? Any product you drop, you take an onion, you drop it on your knife. It has to stick. If it doesn't go through like that, your knife is dull. If it bounces off, you need new knives. All right. So that's the way you can test if you have any sharp knives at home. So how do you use these knives? Well, very simply, again, there's only one way to grip them, which is the proper way, right? And the one thing about knife, uh, when you use a knife, it's always either pushing or pulling. Right. So let me cut this in half. And I, I'm a big... Pusher. I like to push my blade away from me, but people pull it as well. And some yeah. people push and pull. Either way works. The key, of course, is just using the knife, letting the knife do the work and getting through your zucchini, right? And of course, when you get a little bit more, this is like you at home, guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure Danny does this for you for Father's Day. <laughs> but that's what a sharp knife does, right? Yeah. You need a sharp knife. So this utility knife, love this. Like perfect for like peeling an onion like this to get the skin off. I love it because it is nice and light and easy to use, right? And you can just cut it and then you can get in there and you can get your first level and second level of the onion all the way out. And then you want a clean onion like this because then when you chop an onion and mince it up, which we're gonna show you, you want it perfectly clean like that, all right? So to mince a proper onion, what I like to do is cut it in half. Mm -hmm. Then, and you know this, I've mm -hmm. seen you cook before, you go through it about, what's that, about half an inch, quarter of an inch. Yep. I'm not cutting all the way through because what I want to do is then get it across this way and then this way. And when you do that, see how everything's all minced? Yes. That's what you're looking to do. And then when you get to the last part, people say, what do you do at this end? Well, the end, you actually just put it on its side. Flip it over. Get through it a couple <laughs> times and then go through it again. You know, and, so, and, and Ming, it's, it's the performance of knife. the knife is such, a, is such a crucial tool when it comes to cooking. You know, when you go to cooking yeah. school and things like that, you know, the first thing they're going to talk to you about is how to use things like knives. Because first of all, a chef cannot afford to get his finger cut and be out of commission for a week. So you better know how to use a knife. You got to right. find the right cutlery. I, you know, any cooking show I've ever done uh, with Ming or anybody else, it's like, guys, don't cheap out on knives. Get a really good set. And I love, Ming, that you gave us all the stars of the show. Every knife you would need to do any job, you get in the set, right? You do. You really don't need any other knives, right? The serrated is probably my new, new favorite because all this bread people are baking. That's the only way you can get through a crusty bread. Then, of course, tomatoes, right? So with a serrated, a serrated can get through a tomato, and you can get beautiful, oh, yeah. super thin slices like that. Look at that. Right? Like this. Just super thin. I mean, you can basically see through your tomato, right? I mean, it's translucent. That's how thin you can slice with this knife. Look at that. And last but not least, like for example, this slicing knife, if you want to do speed, because this knife is so light. So this is great for salmon playing one out. But if you want to just get a little bit of speed, this is so light. I can just get through this and easily slice this cucumber. Look at that. Almost like it's butter. Yeah. Right? Yep. And I love this. So these are these are my two faves. I mean, I can peel an apple with a big knife. Yeah. But <laughs> this is the one I usually peel an apple at a dinner table, obviously, because yeah. you don't want a huge, gigantic <laughs> knife. Um, but you said it. If you're a, fi a fisherman, this is great for uh. your boat. Also, it's completely rust-proof. So you yeah. can actually bang this knife up and, and being rubber, you can absolutely put it in your dishwasher and wash it well. I just be careful. If you use a dishwasher, lay it down on its side. Don't put it vertically because that will rattle and actually dull the knife and cut your dishwasher rack. Yeah. So not don't go vertical <laughs> in the dishwasher. Always lay your knife 
best best is to just use soap and water and then lay them into yeah. into your drawer. I, That's you know, my I, I made a rule a long time ago that I don't put any of my knives in the dishwasher just because of that reason. Yeah. Well, you really don't yeah, have right. to. These with that ceramic coating, they rinse right off. Just rinse them off, put them back in the rack and let them dry on their own. I think that's a safe bet to be able to do it. But at this price, at $33, you are getting a steal of a deal on knives. It's perfect for Father's Day. Mom will love it too. And I'm like Ming, I usually use, I use my chef's knife pretty much for everything. In fact, I even use, with this knife, it'll get so sharp, you'll even use your chef knife on tomatoes and you can cut them paper yeah. thin. Oh, absolutely. If you want to. And, and last thing I'll hey. say, Ming, is these are all yeah. sharpenable knives, right? Absolutely. You can sharpen them normally on a wet stone or a dry stone. You can sure. completely sharpen You can use those machines at work. Here's a quick tip for guys that are paying attention on how you do a bell pepper. So uh, with my chef knife, this is the best way to DC the bell pepper. You lay your knife flat on the board and you roll your bell pepper. Wow. Right? Love you know it. that trick, sir? <laughs> That's how you do a bell pepper. I love right? that. Yeah. Easy, right? Look at so that. Easy. Never so been easy. easier. All right, Ming, quick special. We got to move. Yes, it's sir. 680302. Yes, sir. You want to get this for a great Father's Day gift? I love the presentation in the espresso wood lay down box. It's really, really cool. Um, we're going to do a quick one awesome. minute here. And I will just tell you if you've never tried anything from Ming before, this is a great try me pan. This is the ultimate. Obviously, it says omelet pan or egg pan all over the place or, you know, grilled cheese for one. But what this is going to give you is all the great features that Ming puts in his cookware. All right. You have the aluminum body cookware. Aluminum is a great conductor of heat. All right. You have this incredible uh, diamond ceramic surface uh, technology on here. Uh, this nonstick is unbelievable. It's uh, it, I've never seen anything like it before. For me, it's an absolute breeze to cook with. You don't have to put extra oil or fat on here. You can put fish in here and you can sear it up, but Ming, if you're by yourself or if you just want to make a quick meal, this eight inch fry pan is money, right? Oh, it's fantastic. And I mean, you could actually sear a large steak in it, right? Of course, people think, okay, two eggs and three eggs or omelet, of course. But a good two pieces of salmon can fit in there. And to your point, you don't need extra fat because it's so non-stick. You can just put the salmon in and it won't stick at all. A whole steak works, you know, a burger by yourself, yeah. the best grilled cheese or patty melt. And I, what I love about it is it goes right in the dishwasher after yeah. it's done. You can put it in the oven if you want to make like a little mac and cheese for yourself or something. Uh, you can't hurt this pan. It is so yep. indestructible and nothing sticks. And a giveaway was $30. It's down to $19.95. If you always want to try Ming's cookware, there's a great opportunity for you to do it. Now we're going to move uh, into what I would call a, an extremely universal great pan for anybody out there that loves to grill. It's called the uh, Blue Diamond Grill Genie. This has uh, actual uh, grill grates built into the pan. So those of you that love to get the cross hatches on your hamburgers and your steaks and your chicken and your fish, you can get all that without ever having to go outside and light up a grill. Uh, you know, we're here in Florida, and I will tell you, Ming, it's been raining for 10 straight days. Nobody is outside grilling right now. They are grilling inside the comfort of their own home, and they're using this pan. This pan was $51. We marked it down to $39.95. Another great try me piece if you've never uh, utilized uh, uh, Ming's cookware before. PFOA free, uh, uh, PT, uh, PFTE, uh, no cadmium, none of, the, none of the nasty stuff in the manufacturer of these beautiful pans. They are oven safe up to 500 degrees, which, and as Ming knows, and any chef out there knows, you know, a lot of our cooking is finished in the oven. So we want to make sure we have pans that can handle that. That's, that's the sign of a really well made pan. Helper handles on both sides. One of the greatest dome lids I've ever seen on a pan. So it allows you to do the no peekaboo cooking. You can see what's going on there. If you're melting the cheese on your burgers, don't take the lid off. Leave it on until the cheese melts. All this is included at a price of $39.94. And another one of your customer picks. Almost everything you have is a customer pick. And last thing I'll say, lifetime warranty, Ming. You stand behind yes. it. Yes. Yep. Lifetime warranty. So... Yeah. Uh, let me show you how these pans work, right? Look, I got two beautiful steaks here. I have two beautiful burgers. I just seasoned up with salt and pepper. Henry, come with me, sir. So I got a couple here. I'm gonna put them on just medium high. One thing I noticed with these pans, guys, they conduct heat so well. Yeah. I actually use medium high heat. High heat, it will sear and then burn. No oil, right? Just straight in. But you need to hear that. Oh, That's yeah. That's the sizzle you wanna hear, yeah. right? Give it a good push and don't touch it. Let it get its own marks naturally and then it eventually will release itself and then we can flip it. Here, same thing, go medium high. I got a couple burgers here. Lay those burgers in. 
like that. All right. Again, give him a little push and just let him hang out. All right. Yeah. These pants conduct so well. Um, you just let them do it. So the one rookie move that back in the day, a you and I guy probably when we were teenagers did it, you mean to see if it's stuck or not. <laughs> People do that with fish on the grill. Right. Of course it's stuck. You just put fish on your grill, and by trying to see if it's stuck, you rip it. Let it caramelize, get its own color, and it will unstick itself. With these, because of this amazing ceramic diamond coating, nothing's going to stick. And I can just show you, just, just with my fingers, I want to keep them on the grills, but look, I can still I can still move these. They can still move. I just want to keep them on its grill. You see that? I want to keep it on its grooves, all right? So three, four minutes aside, ditto for the, uh, the burgers here, but let me show you what I did back here. Oh, yeah. This, this is a pork belly. <laughs> look at that. So you can look at the marks on that. So I seared the pork belly and got yeah. the nice marks, flipped it. I added just ginger and carrots. That's the natural juice from ginger and carrots. I added one onion, and I added a little bit of soy sauce. And this has gone for two hours. And, guy, I kid you not, this is the most <laughs> delicious. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna plate this up for yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. This I is what I would it. actually. Yeah, I want to plate this up for you because this is this is where it's at. You know what I love too, Ming, is that you could bring this right to the table like that, right? Oh, you know, I was first going to say that. You are so right, guy. <laughs> I'm going to make you a little plate because you're the man. I'm going to just make you <laughs> how I would serve this for a couple people at home. Oh man! I would just take a little bit of rice like this, right? Sure. I would take this pork belly, which I will just. Pull out. I'm going to go ahead and slice a little bit for you so you can see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, look at the great grill marks oh, on there, yeah. too, Ming. I mean, wow. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at oh, that wow. pork belly. Look at right? that. It's got three beautiful hunks like that. Oh, man. Oh, a little little sauce God. on top. Watch this. That's exactly <laughs> it, my friend. You know what we're doing. We got these carrots, we got this ginger. Yeah. We have the natural juices of the pork belly. That is how we use this pan. Look at that. To really get some delicious food. I'm going to put this up for you right here so you can see it. Nice and tight. By the way, uh, How's th that? Th that looks amazing. This pan, all five-star reviews across the board. Every, every single rating is a perfect five-star review. And what I love about the dish that you made there, too, is you're showing what's missing there. You're not seeing a lot of extra fat and calories, all right? Pork belly has enough fat. It doesn't need right, it. Salmon right. has enough fat. Most good steaks have enough fat. If you want to add olive oil or, or a compound butter at the end, that's fine, but do that later. Right. You don't need it. You know, it's, it's like lube for our car. We're so conditioned, Ming, to having to put two tablespoons of oil in everything. You don't have to do that when you have this cookware. Will you talk to everybody yeah. about your nonstick, the blue diamond? I want everybody to understand Absolutely. the technology. So, as you, as you know, Guy, every pan I've ever done here at HSN has always been ceramic. Right, this is ceramic nonstick with diamonds inlay, so super easy to clean. Of course, it's dishwasher safe. All my pans have been dishwasher safe. Uh, metal utensils safe. You see, I'm using metal utensils. Yep. The induction is built into the coating, so it's not that disc that warps the pans. That I love. Always reinforced handles that stainless steel, so it can go into the oven to 500 degrees, which is hotter than any oven that anyone has at home. Of course, you mentioned PTFE, PFOA free always, so you can use acid, lime juice, lemon juice, and never have any reaction. And because it's so hard and so dense, it actually conducts heat better. So that's why I'm using medium high heat on the stuff behind me. Henry, come with me. Let's see how we do with these so far. So, so these have been going live, right? It's yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Look yeah. At those come on. Lines, right? <laughs> I mean, this Perfect. one on live, not only did this go on live, we had no oil. As you recall, I added yeah. no oil to these, right? Right. So, and here, I just got my metal spatula here. Let's flip these burgers. Oh, oh yeah. man. Look, Look at, at that. that. Oh. Right? And because we have, because we have this uh, great lid, I'm going to turn my fan on for just a sec because I don't want the fire department to show up. <laughs> Here's a great trick, guys. I cover, smother with cheese, and I get it off the side. Why? Because I want that cheese to cook 
You know how cheese gets crispy in a pan? The best. Well, since this is non-stick, this cheese won't stick. You're going to have cheese melted that's going to be a little bit softer, and then cheese on the outside is going to be hard. Yeah. For the ultimate cheeseburger. That's the good stuff, man. That's you don't, 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 don't skip exactly. out on that burnt cheese. We love that stuff. And you know oh, what's, no. you know what's nice, too, is that because you're using a pan that's, that's a good, heavy, solid pan, with your steaks, just like you did with the pork belly, you've got the basis for your sauce right in the pan, right? To glaze yeah, a little so bit. Yeah, you're so right. Yeah. Look at that. I'm actually going to take an onion and, and do a steak sauce in my pan, um, <laughs> exactly that, and then you glaze with a little bit of wine. Because you want to get that foam, right? You want to get that foam, which right. is the cooked juice of the steak in the pan. You want to get that off, right? So, all right, let me uh, look at these burgers. They're looking pretty darn good. Yeah. We didn't so, even go, cover them. Let me go ahead and look at them. Wow. <laughs> I right, think I you need more. Say. Ming, I think you need more cheese on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look, look at this. Look at that. Look, look at the nonstick. Wow. Look at that. All right. Oh, see all that cheese just come off like I'll that? I'll be right over, crazy. man. I'm getting on a plow. I'll be yeah. right over. <laughs> look at look that burger. At that. Oh, my God. And all of this cheese. That's the cheese. But look at my pan, guys. This was cheese melting in my pan. And that, all of this comes right, right off. off. It's so yeah. nonstick. It's ridiculous, right? I, I love okay. it. It's a great pan. And remember, you get that high dome lid so that you can melt. You could also do, so if, you do if you're doing grilled veggies and you yeah. want to steam them a little bit at the end, or maybe you're doing, a lot of times people like to do their pan fried dumplings in here and then add their liquid at the end uh, to soften them up a little bit. You can do that. Sure, this is an incredible lid. This is included to go along with it. And the size is great too. This, this great big size will easily accommodate two to three to four steaks, depending on what kind of steaks you're doing or how many burgers or dogs you're doing. You don't have to go outside in the heat. You can grill indoors. These are oven safe and they come with a lifetime warranty. All five star reviews and affordable at $39.95. All right, you want to get it, grab it. Um, we're going to be shifting gears and moving on. We still have the pressure cooker slash air fryer all in one coming up uh, in just a bit. Are we taking a little break? Oh, gonna walk over. Okay, let's walk over. Hang in there with me, Ming. I'm changing. Uh, I'm changing sets here. We'll walk over, and we're gonna talk about. I had a choice to make two things my pick, and I couldn't decide between the air fryer and the uh, the uh, Sear Smart nonstick five piece multi pan set. I'm buying this one today. Okay, I own my air fryer, so I'm buying this today because I think if you've never tried anything with Ming, this is a great start. Uh, start starting place and a great try me. Um, this is a jumbo 12 inch pan. It actually is many pans in one. You can use this as a saute. You can use this as a soup pot. You can use this obviously as a steamer. We're gonna give you the steamer rack that goes inside it, or, or, or and the uh, steamer, uh, we're giving you the rack and the, and the steamer tray. We're giving you the bamboo paddle. So if you're making rice, it's a great rice cooker in addition to that. All this at $30 off the price today. It is a customer pick. And when you see the size of this pan, I mean, this is the perfect size. Some people don't buy a wok because it's too big and too hard to store. This is a beautiful, gorgeous wok that will become any pan you want it to be. It's got all the great features, including the lifetime warranty that you get from Ming, but all the great features of that incredible nonstick. We've got color choices to go through. I have it available in stone, jade, onyx, eggplant, I have it available in chili, and I also have it available in the lapis color. Everybody is going to get a, a jumbo lid to go along with it, and look at the size of that lid. It is beautiful. Everybody that's ordering is also going to get the open steamer basket, Okay, that is that is part of the deal. You get the tray, so if you want to put items in there and you want to um, elevate them off the bottom of the pan, we give you the tray. If you are making rice, you get like a little rice paddle or a little saute uh, paddle as well. All that's included, and I will say one thing, if you can get the bamboo steamer to go along with it, and you love wontons or dim sum or egg rolls or whatever you want to steam, even fish, um, you can get this as well. I may buy this today to go along with this because I love me some dim sum and things like that. Get this tray and you can do a variety of other things. That is also available if you want to get it. But I think, Ming, you hit it out of the park with the design of this pan. Everything top to bottom, the, the construction, the aluminum for great heat conduction, riveted handles. This is a lifetime pan for everybody out there. It is. And, and I know it looks like a walk. Well, that's because that design is always in my head. I like the capacity of it. It's got a really high wall. And because it's concaved a little bit towards you, the edge, 
It's so easy to flip food. Of course, it has a ceramic diamond coating, which makes it the ultimate pan. And with the accessories, the steamers, there's a stainless steel steamer that comes with it, plus the rack, but you can also upgrade with the bamboo steamer, and that's awesome, because that actually is fantastic to steam stuff like fish. Why don't you come back? Henry, come with me. Let me yeah. show you the steamer part first. So here we have, uh, I have the lock. It comes with one stainless steel steamer, so I've doubled it out, because steam rises, so you could go this high. It doesn't matter. You're catching the steam. Check this out. Look at oh, that salmon. Love it. Right? So I'm going to bring this right to this plate. Oh, that's that, beautiful. That is the healthiest possible way you eat salmon. Steamed with two slices of lemon, oh. not even any salt. Salmon has its own natural salinity. That, my friend, you and your wife, you eat that, a bowl of rice, you'll be very happy with some green veg. It's a great, healthy way of eating. Now, let's see what we have below it. Here we have some awesome buns, right? Oh. So this, as well, I will just go ahead and serve on a plate just like this, right? Pop those. And why wouldn't you serve it straight up? Just like that. Love it. Steam buns oh. to the plate. All right. Now, last but not least, check this out. Here we have some steamed dumplings. But what I'm going to do is add a little bit of oil, just a tablespoon of, to this wok, okay? Or multi pan. Sorry, I call it a wok because, you know, <laughs> it's I, all right. I, I grow with it. It's but, part wok. Now, these dumplings, <laughs> these dumplings that have been steamed, I'm going to just crisp up oh. in this wok, right? Yeah. So, this is a really easy, safe way of doing pot stickers that you don't have to worry about anything sticking. And as you can tell, I just added a teaspoon of oil, right? Sure. You don't need much oil at all. And watch these dumplings just slide around like it's a freaking ice skating rink. Oh my God. Right? Yeah. Nothing sticks to these pans. It's <laughs> unbelievable, right? Which is why I love them so much. Yeah. All right. Now, let me show you if I made the capacity of this. So here's, I'm gonna do a gigantic noodle stir fry for oh, you, all right? Okay. So again, just a tablespoon of oil. That's all I need. I don't need anything more than that. I get this nice and hot, okay? And what I want to do, I'll, actually, this is my biggest burner, so let's go here. We're going to add just a touch of garlic and onions. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead, a little bit of minced garlic. Yum. And some scallions, okay? Just mix that in there. I love, Stand the steel tools. I love the capacity of that too, Ming. That's a nice oh my God, big wait can. Wait to see how much. Yeah. Wait to see how much we put in here. Now we got carrots. These are raw carrots. We have zucchini. All right. Let's go ahead and get this going. And again, I mentioned the concavity because this angle just a little bit. This edge to flip food is so easy. Just pull it towards you, and you just give it a little yeah. flip like that. It is so easy to flip food. All right. So we have that. I'm going to take, we have this great stock pot, by the way, guy. Yeah, you get I this saw on the it. Side, I know I've right? been on it. <laughs> the eight quart, it's and beautiful. <laughs> it's fantastic. Add a little salt to that, because what I'm going to do is go ahead and blanch my noodles. These are just some fresh Shanghai noodles. I'm going to sure. blanch these. Okay. These are ready in three minutes, and I'll just add them directly to this, to my pot. Yeah. And we'll have a noodle stir fry dish, all right? So we have that moving. Now we can add a little bit. A broccoli. This is going to be a huge bowl. Some bell peppers, some bok choy. All right. Then to this, you could add veg stock, or I'm just going to add a little bit of the pasta water. Yeah. Right. Just to get that going. And here's one trick: you can actually cover your stock pot when you're boiling pasta. Right. Once it starts to boil, take the cover off. But with the Cabrano, it comes to boil about 60% faster. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here we have, again, look how many veggies in here. And like, you can well, so yeah. easily still flip all that veg. You know right? what gets me too? And you used, you used about a teaspoon of oil in that entire yeah. stir fry so far. So if, if Ming exactly. wants to add flavoring like sesame oil, he can do that at the end if he wants. But yep. you've controlled the amount of fat that you're giving to you and your family. And you're not... It's going to taste even better because it's going to get that char off the pan, too, right, Ming? A hundred percent. That's that's called the chi of the wok. What yeah. I just added there is a little bit of veggie oyster sauce, right? That's going to give it kind of that umami flavor. It's a soy-based sauce, which I love. It's made from shiitake, so it's vegetarian. And here, 
while we're here, let me show you these awesome pot stickers that we took out. Right, look at these pot stickers. So this wow. is how you pot sticker. Oh, this is color. the steamed dumplings yes. that you then sear, right? And this is what we want to go for, is the pan like this, Yeah. right? Get this and this, and that's oh, the color we use. Yeah. That's what we go for. And by the way, if you're going to spend all this time making these pot dumplings crispy, make sure you put them crispy skin side up. Right. Right? We just yeah, spent all this time. It. Yep. You want to see it, right? Eating with there the you eyes. Go. There's our pot stickers. Look at how beautiful. And yep. That's how crispy you want. Uh, yummy. It, right? And you can put whatever kind of sauce you want. You can drizzle it on or put it on yeah. the side. And you've you've just created something that you would probably spend eight or nine or ten dollars in for an appetizer order in a restaurant. <laughs> and you did it for pennies. And you did it yourself. You know, 100%. I, I, that's really the thing is that you know people at home are at a disadvantage. You don't understand cooking because they they think that the actual learning of all this is hard. It's not hard if you start with really good tools. And that's because you look at everything that Ming is so doing, correct. the caramelization, the grilling, the browning, the, 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 the size of the pot, the shape of the pot. That's all your best friend when you're cooking. You know, if you use cheap cookware, you're not gonna get good results. You know, from the stock pots so to the salt. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I mean, and your timing, it's everything is working right. together, you know? And Look that's, that. is, to your point, timing's everything. Because here we have the noodles that just took three minutes to blanch. Going to add them right to my pot. Oh, man. Just like that. It's right. a lot of food. Now man. we have <laughs> the most amazing chow mein stir fried noodle dish, right? Mix this all up. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to get a platter from in there. I'm going to plate this up for you to just show you the quantity yeah. of the food that you have Look in here. Look how delicious that is. Because it's a lot. Yeah, and low and what fat. I love. Yep. This is so low, guys. One tablespoon of oil. And what yeah. I love about this is my ratio, my ratio of veg to carb. It's two to one veg to carb. So right. check out how much food we have here. <laughs> it's a big plate. Noodles what? down first. Oh, yum! Look at this. Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't know how many hungry mouths you have, but this will definitely. <laughs> Start them off. Yeah, that's enough. Right? For, that's at least six people right there. Come on. I mean, in one I mean, pan. That's that. I love, I love that. And I like putting a little bit of sesame oil straight on top. Yeah. Uh, sesame seeds like this. There's some sesame seeds that just crushed right on top. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you know, Ming, if, that, if, if people got that grill pan, imagine putting about six or eight grilled shrimp or scallops on top of there. Oh, uh, there's a really thinly <laughs> sliced slices of steak or grilled chicken. Oh, yeah. yeah. But this, I mean, this literally is the size of my head, right? That's how much food <laughs> that wok can cook. It's a lot right? of, I mean, a lot of food. All right, let me, I'm going to go through colors again. Ming, give you a chance Please. to catch a breather there. So okay, it, again, we have all colors available. The pan itself is beautiful, and I haven't held one up to show you, but I want you to see how gorgeous it is. First of all, you have that blue diamond nonstick on the inside. This is all lifetime warranty, okay? You're going to have this pan forever. You have aluminum construction on the bottom of the pan. Why? Because Ming knows aluminum is a great conductor of heat all right so you're getting the best conductor inside there riveted handles because any chef you know out there that's worth their weight knows that when you rivet something it's not going to come off okay when you weld it there's a chance it can come off this is riveted handle um, and it's a semi-solid handle so i would use you know when you're always get in the habit of using a cloth when you hold your handles it's just a great way to never get burned because you are going to be able to put this in the oven and finish things in the oven so if you wanted to do an upside down a pineapple upside down cake in there which is a great idea you can do that as well if you wanted to do an angel food cake a chocolate cake put it in the oven you can put it inside all the colors are still available and i'll go through every single one so we've got we've got them available in this is the jade on top that's the most limited this is eggplant which is a great color you rarely see in cookware we also have it available in this is our lapis uh this color here is chili, which is a chili red. We've got it available in a stone color, which is gray. And then this is black on the bottom. Everybody, or, or Onyx, everybody that orders, and this is really where the deal is so great, especially on sale today, 80 down to 49. Everybody is gonna get the open steamer insert. So if you are looking to lose weight, if you're on a high protein diet, you like, you wanna eat fish, shrimp, scallops, salmon, whatever fish you like, you can steam it inside here. You could put a layer of a banana leaf or whatever leaves you use. Um, you could put that in there and, um, and you can steam on top of that as well. 
the dome or the big lid, which is a nice big heavy duty lid, um, you can also put on top. So if you are doing anything that needs to be covered, um, if you're steaming, you're doing rice dishes or whatever, you can utilize that. There's a rack that will go inside. So if you want to perch your proteins or your veggies up off the bottom to steam them inside, you can do that as well. You get the wood paddle, which I love. I love bamboo tools. They're fantastic. They last forever. Um, and it's a renewable resource because bamboo grows about a foot a day. So you feel good using it. Um, in addition, don't forget, if you want to get the eight quart stock pot that Ming was showing, I love the stock pot, Ming. That's a big one. The biggest stock pot I own is six, is uh, a six, and then I got like a twenty. So I'm always in the middle. <laughs> so this is your this is your big jumbo. And then I love this bamboo steamer. Okay, you've probably seen these in um, Asian themed restaurants everywhere, and they use them and they layer them, and they'll put. You've seen them in dim sum restaurants. Anything you want to cook in here, you can put inside here on the mat. It could be fish. You saw Ming do salmon. Uh, this is, um, is this only $18? Oh, I'm buying two. And you can get as many as you want and stack them because they're recessed on the bottom. And you can cook just like you're at your favorite uh, sushi place or your favorite Thai restaurant uh, or Asian restaurant that, that serves things in bamboo. And bamboo is a wonderful, wonderful um, a wood to cook in. All right. It uh, doesn't hold on to flavor, but it doesn't decom uh, decompose like a lot of the other woods will do. Um, it's bamboo. It's, you know, it, 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 it accepts water. It drinks water. It holds water. It's great. If you want one of these, we'll ship it out now for $49. If you want to get a $10 off, get a brand new HSN credit card. Again, you keep seeing that blue banner because virtually every one of Ming's products is a customer pick. Because when you get a chef, an award-winning chef who has his own sh TV shows and every, all his restaurants, when you get them to design it, you know, their, their reputation's on the line. So they really, really go and, and don't give you just the, the latest ingredients. They give you everything that they've tested. And that's what you get right there. All right, so back to Ming. And if you just want to make omelets, right, or eggs, you can yeah, do that in this Look at case. this. Look at these three. I just dropped these three eggs. And look at a that. teaspoon of oil, right? I mean, a nice slow. Look at that. I love it when eggs get crusty like that, right? And I like when the eggs stay intact. So you just have to flip an egg to the other side. And this is how, my friend, I'm going to finish my noodle stir fry. I'm going to put eggs on top. Yum. And then when you eat this, my friend, you get oh. to pop it open. And I'm just gonna do it because I like yeah, that go, feeling. Come on, do it, man. <laughs> and, then, and then this egg. I want to see egg, it go there out. You go. Oh yeah. This egg there will then is. come and cover that richness, and that's awesome. You don't have to. Obviously, you're vegetarian. You don't need to add an egg. But yeah. you said it earlier. Chicken breast, oh. chicken breast, yeah. beef, sliced salmon, yeah. smoked salmon, tofu, egg. All of it was yeah. worked so well. And we love eggs in our stir fry anyway because I, that's one of the biggest things yeah. I put in there. You know what I love about eggs too? Relatively low calorie and low fat. You know, three eggs is about 200 calories. If you're spreading that meal up six, seven different ways, that's 30 or 40 calories with all that great egg flavor. So I'm just saying, eggs are a good thing to put on anything, a burger or whatever, you're gonna love it. All right, last call here on this, 675-963. All colors are available. One more time, I wanna talk about the eight quart. Again, a great try me piece. Um, if you can just afford one piece today and you're looking for a great stock pot for your noodles, for your big buckets of chili, uh, you're doing um, soups, anything that involves, you know, the Sunday sauce, whatever it is, this is a great pan. It has that, that blue diamond nonstick on the interior, helper handles, oven safe. You really can't do any better. And I encourage you, get one of these bamboo steamers if not two. I'm gonna pick up a couple today. I didn't even know you had these. I know you used to carry them and then I couldn't find them for a while. One of my favorite things to cook with, it is the best natural way to steam um, and you really will love the results. And if you love, I mean, everybody, the rage, wontons, everybody's going crazy on them and buying them and bringing them home. This is the way to cook them or any seafood that you wanna cook, it's ideal for that as well. That's only $18.56. All right. We are gonna step away. Ming, I'm excited. The air fryer pressure cooker. I am so jacked up about that. That's coming your way next, right after this break. Stick around. HSN. Discover a world of beauty 
like you've never seen before. Beauty Report is the insider's guide to getting gorgeous. Join me tonight for a beautiful new routine. See it, heart it, save it with the HSN app. Favorites are a fun and easy way to track your must-have products all in one place. Click the heart in the top right corner, then the more icon to access your favorites list. Download the app and start favoriting today. So I'll tell you a God's honest truth. For a long time, I was not, I wouldn't call myself an anti-air fryer guy, but I was like one of these purist traditionalist guys. Ah, you know, I'll do that. And then I bought one. And now I get it. And I'm just talking air fryer. I've had pressure cookers for a long time because I believe pressure cookers are an amazing way to cook. Our grandparents did it. If something works, don't try to, don't try to change it. Fix it, make it better, make it safer, which we've done because this machine, Hands down, I think it's the best machine available on the market out there because it does the most. It's the easiest machine to use. It's not just an air fryer or just a pressure cooker. It's both. And you can use them together. Case in point, you, you cook a regular chicken dinner. Let me, let me show you something. See the oven over there? See this oven? If I was gonna cook a chicken dinner, I'd have to take a chicken, put it in a separate pan, line it with veggies, do all my other prep work, and then I'd have to take that chicken, preheat that oven over there, and this is a big oven, right? Look how big that is, all right? That, that oven is that big, and I'm cooking a chicken this big, or a whatever. Why would I waste all that energy when I can do it right here on my countertop? So number one, it's gonna save you a fortune in electricity, all right, because it's a contained system. Not only that, that thing heats up the house every time I turn it on. It may not be getting hot where you are, but yesterday it was, it was a sweat box here in Florida, and I know it's gonna hit the whole country. Being able to save money on electric and do everything countertop is great. Lastly, what I'll say, because I know Bing's got a lot to talk about here, is I love that this machine does it all. A lot of people go out there and they buy an air fryer. A lot of people go out there and they buy a pressure cooker. And then they got two big appliances sitting around and they're like, well, what do I, I, you know, I, wish, I wish somebody would do both. Well, it is here. This is gonna enable you to take that two to three hour chicken dinner out of that oven and do it in less than an hour in about 40 to 50 minutes in this oven. It'll, it'll pressure cook the bird to make sure it's thoroughly cooked through while retaining the juices. And then with a quick switch, It'll also crisp up the bird right inside. You never had to change machines. Everything is right there. When you order today, you get everything that you need. Your choice of colors, it comes in red or it comes in black. Along the front here, and I'm gonna show you mine because I know Ming is Skyping in. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see the, the, the face of it when we Skype from the feed. On one side of this, you find your air fry controls. On the other side is your pressure cooker. Couldn't be any easier and neither when the when one is engaged the other one can't work so you're not gonna you're not gonna mix it up one side air fryer one side pressure cooker and then when you want to use them together we make it really simple to be able to do that all at once so you can get the crispiness at the end what do we love about pressure cookers you get all day flavor in a fraction of the time i'll say it again all day flavor fraction of the time all right, you don't have to sit there and, and roast something for four hours. All the nutrition, all the moisture stays in. So pressure cooking has been great. That's why our grandmothers canned vegetables, uh, eggs, pickled eggs. They did all that stuff. They used a pressure cooker. Air fryer, what does that do? Saves you time with the same results. Why would I put French fries in that oven for 45 minutes when I could put French fries in this oven for seven minutes? <laughs> I mean, it is the easiest thing to understand. Last, I promise this is it, Ming. I know Ming's like, was that guy ever gonna shut up so finally? Our original price, 237, today 159. So you're getting about $70 off. It's available on FlexPay. Um, so I, I know, listen, this is not a teeny tiny little, uh, you know, two quart air fryer. So I know it's a little bit of money to ship it, but it's worth it. I mean, the machine is substantial and you are going to love it. You have 30 days to try it out. If you got an HSN credit card, $39, if not, $53 and you can get $10 off if you get a brand new card. So Ming, finally, thank you for uh, tolerating my long-winded speech. <laughs> but it's a you, great explanation, guys. I, I mean, I, you, you hit all the key points. There's so it, much to talk about with this machine, so I'll turn yeah, it over to you. There but is. realistically, you. saves us money and the results that you get out of this, you're gonna, you're gonna have results that make you look like a chef. Exactly, and I actually call I call this kind of like R2-D2. This is my sous chef, right? Yes. Because it intuitively knows, you mentioned it, the panel is so intuitive, there's an on-off, and this is all the air fire stuff, and this is all the air pressure. So how does it result? Let me just first give you, show you something that's already going right here. Here are some waffle fries, right? That have just been air fried. Now listen to this. Crispy. 
<laughs> you hear how crispy those are? I mean, yeah. that's what I love about the air fryer. And here's some lobster cakes. These are still frozen lobster cakes I'm going to throw in. These are for my boys on the Yankee Trader, some great people. This is how I use this. So if my thing was off, all right, I would just hit it on. And because look, I went a little fast, because I have the air fryer disc, this is the air fryer disc. This machine knows when it's on, I can either air fry, bake and roast, or broil. So I'm going to air fry it. And I'm going to do it at 400, which is max. And I'm going to do it for, let's say, I don't know, 15, let's go 12 minutes. Okay. Turn it on. It's an air fryer, right? Good to go. Check out this one. In here, we have, um, this is the, um, um, what do I have in here? Uh, this is the chicken. All right. I just pushed that button. I don't know if you saw that. That button is steam release. Yeah. Listen to how quiet it is. This is a pressure cooker releasing steam. Usually it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So noisy, right? And by just pushing the button electronically, the steam comes out, and I cannot open it until the steam is all gone. Because a pressure cooker is about safety first, right? You have to be safe. And sometimes grandma's old pressure cooker, the metal one, it's bent, hard to get the lid on. Right. This is impossible to actually have any damage to yourself because I can't. I don't care how strong it is. You cannot open it. When there's still steam in it, it, it is locked. You cannot get into it. And it actually beeps. As soon as enough steam is gone, it will beep and tell me, okay, now it's safe. So what's in here? I took a four pound raw chicken out of the fridge. I put two carrots, two ribs of celery, one onion chopped up, two heads of garlic on the bottom. I put the chicken on top. I seasoned the chicken, salt, pepper, paprika, and I air pressure cooked it for 30 minutes only, right? From raw, 30 minutes all the way, okay? So as soon as this is completely out, check it out. So now it opens, right? Wow. Now look at this chicken. Can you see that? So there's yeah. a chicken. All of that broth, that broth came about because of just the carrots, celery, onions, and the chicken itself. I added no liquid, no broth, no soy sauce. So this chicken is succulent, delicious, fully cooked. However, unfortunately, the skin is all soft because it's been pressure cooked, right? So here's the genius of this machine. With this handle that locks, you just take out this disc. This disc is hot, which is why you want this little handle. It's so easy to use. This is the air pressure disc, right? So this you just set aside, and it's everything's intuitive, right? So, well, since the writing's on this side, it must go this way. And since that says up, I guess that must go up, right? And you literally can't put it in wrong. So now I close it, I lock it, and by the way, this is so intuitive. I turn it on, if I try to go to air fire, how come it says, what does that say? Oh, lock. It's actually telling me it's not locked. Okay, so I gotta lock it. So it actually helps you remind yeah. yourself to lock it. Now I can air fry it and turn it on. So in 10 minutes or eight minutes, you'll see the skin of the chicken is gonna get crisp. So that's outrageous that you can yeah. air pressure something and then crisp it up. I just did a huge top round and a rump roast and short ribs, same thing. You can braise it, which usually takes half the amount of time. So instead of a four hour braise, it's a two hour braise. You know, a chicken, if you're, if you're gonna steam it, it's at least, it's an hour. So this is in half an hour. But it, when I plate this up, it's so much better than just a chicken because it actually makes its own chicken broth yes. with it. And you serve it, so when you eat it, you get to dip your chicken in that, right? One of the That's hardest, what I love yeah, about this. One of the hardest things people can do is learn how to make gravies. <laughs> I always like, it's like, it's such an art form. It's like, and you understand and get it, like making soup, right? It's, a, I mean, a lot of people do not know how to make either one of those. You make your own yep. right in the container when you use the pressure cooker and the air fryer. You get all that flavor because it comes from the bones and all the gelatin and everything that's in that bird, which you a lot of times gets lost in the bottom of a baking dish. You've got that yeah. all right there, and it's tenderizing the meat the whole time. You know, I mean, a lot of people are spending a lot of time at home, as you know, as we know, yeah. obviously. They're not going out as yeah. much, but they still want to get that great flavor. And I think a lot of them are on the fence. Should I, should I make it quick and easy with an air fryer, or yeah. should I do yeah. it delicious and nutritious with a pressure cooker? This combines the both, so you get it everything. It combines both. Yeah. Right. And by the way, we all have leftovers, too. So if you have leftover fries or jalapeno sure. poppers or even tempura, 
right in the air fryer. Because what you don't want to do is refry it. That would just absorb so much more fat. You don't want to do that. Right. You put it into an oven, you got to heat up a huge oven and only one side gets crispy, then you got to flip it on the other side. Here, the air, of course, goes from the top and goes all the way around. Let me just stay right there. I just want to show you the design because this is all about design, right? So the inside of the air fryer, these flanges are at 45 degrees. So when the air passes through, it actually creates a tornado. So the air comes up and goes around and comes back through it. And you actually have like a, a cyclone type air passing through, which is how the French fries can get crispy from up top and the bottom at the same time. And I have to note, as we're talking about how easy it is to cook with this, this, of course, all goes in the dishwasher. So if you air fry something, you throw this in the dishwasher. The insert, you throw it in the dishwasher. You do pressure cooking or short rib, you throw it in the dishwasher. Everything is dishwasher safe. They have a surprise for you here. Check this out, guy. So the bake function. Oh, man. And it's nice and nonstick. <laughs> you can do a cake. <laughs> right? And here's, you know, I mean, Look at that. almost nothing sticks, right? Nothing sticks to this. Yeah. Here's a beautiful cake that, uh, you know, I, I'm going to be totally blunt. This is store-bought cake, right? I'm not embarrassed to do that. It's sure. okay to eat a store-bought cake every now and then. But just look how nice and moist this cake is. I mean, for a store-bought cake, it is completely moist, chocolatey, oh, and delicious. Look at that. And that was done, that was done in 22 minutes yeah. on the bake function. So this is not just your savory air fryer pressure cooker. You can do all types of desserts in here. Caramelized apples. It has a sear, uh, a saute and sear function as well. This is so key. So saute and sear heats the pan that I can actually color my short rib and saute or caramelize my onions and garlics to then do the braise, right? Yeah. So that I love. So it literally, and, and the thing that is just, again, it's so intuitive. It knows if you have the air pressure disc in or the air fryer disc in. So then you can only do the functions per the disc. And yeah. again, safety is paramount. It's the only machine you'll ever need. I mean, I've been cooking like, like I, 15 times a day practically, right? That's all we do is cook. And yeah. it's actually been fun to cook and be with family. So there's there's been a bright light to this mess that we're in. Sure. Um, but the amount of money you will save by cooking at home, instead of buying a full roasted rotisserie chicken yourself, which costs you, I don't know, 10 bucks or so, yeah. you can buy a, a whole four or five pound chicken easily for five bucks when you buy in bulk. And by cooking it, you get such a better flavor, right? You just you just get you get the 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 juice yeah. and the lusciousness of the veg and the chicken. So here, let's check. It's been it's only been four minutes. Yeah. But you know what? Let's look. I want to show you. Yeah. I want to show you. Just in four minutes. Look at this top. Oh. So this is already crispy now. So look. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> yeah. This I can is hear crispy it. chicken skin yeah. now, right? Yeah. So that is unbelievable, right? So I'm just going to, I'm going to let this go for another two minutes sure. and then I'm going to plate it up because I want to really show you what it looks like when it gets nice and brown. And here, oh yeah, baby, here are our lobster cakes. Remember these are frozen yeah. when I put them in? Yeah, five minutes, six, okay. seven minutes. It's all it took. Look yep. at that. Perfectly Look at browned. That. So we're going to take the lobster cake. Look at that. These are awesome, right? Wow. From frozen, right? By the way, a fantastic Look eggs Benedict. Look at how crispy Whoa. they are. Oh, they're so crispy. Don't you dare Here's put don't you of... dare put some lemon aioli on there or something. <laughs> no, sir. This is kuchijang aioli. I'll tell Korean you. Korean chili paste aioli. <laughs> look at that. You know right? what? How does that look? And, and, and Ming, the, the key and with everything yeah. that you do, and I love it, is that everything comes out and it looks like something you would get at a restaurant, right? And it is. The yeah. only difference is you're doing, you're doing it at home. It's your home. We have we own our own restaurants now. And we need to yeah. find tools. No, we do. Yeah, we need to find tools like you said. I'm the same with my son, Danny. I mean, i got to cook every day now. I, you know, now that he's home from school, I never used to have to do that. And you're looking for ways to, to, to not cut corners in flavor, but in time and effort and energy and, and saving money with your, with your electric bill, with not having to heat that oven up. Not only that, we even talk about your ovens have right. to preheat. You're not even preheating. You're just going right to town. Yeah. Uh, so you're, you're so right. And I'm glad you brought that up. Because even my old pressure cooker, sometimes it took up to 15 minutes to come to pressure, yeah. then it cooked. These come up to pressure in five minutes. Oh, look at this chicken. It's beautiful. And you can see the skin. You see how it's bubbly and yeah. crispy? See that? Best part. Oh, my God. That's the best part. So I'm going to plate this up here. 
I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna show you. And, and you know there's no guesswork because you've already pressure cooked it, so you know it's done. Yeah. And now you're just doing oh, yeah, the I mean, finishing touch. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, I'm gonna show you how delicious it's tender. I mean, look at all this great veg. This is just carrots, celery, onions, and garlic, guys, right? So it's half chicken, half veg, which again, I think is the better way to eat, right? We should eat more veg, period. Oh, right? yeah. Eat. I have nothing against protein. Protein's great, and that's great for, to add flavor, but I like it. And check this out. With no pot, uh, pot holders or anything, these are stay cool handles, right? So you can pick this right up, and I'm gonna pour this right into here, and oh, here is man. my chicken gold. broth. Liquid gold. <laughs> Look at that. And you're gonna serve that next yeah. to your chicken, which looks like this, That's with impressive. all of that veg. Yeah. And then I just want to shred it. I just need to show you. So here's the leg. Look how look how this leg just comes apart. I mean, yeah. this oh. is like oh, ridiculous. Look at that. Yeah. And look at this breast just come right off. But this the skin is crispy here. Yeah. Right. And the breast is succulent and moist. Look at and that. how we do it in in Singapore, they eat chicken this way, and then they serve it with the broth, yep. and you dip it like that. That's the way. And to do that's it. how we eat chicken. That's the, that's the right way to do it. And, and wow. you know what? What so you're good. eating is, is gourmet. That is, that is how the creators of recipes will cook this, and you're doing it the same way. You're keeping all the flavors. You're right. keeping all the nutrition. You know, we were talking about rotisserie chickens. Yeah, it's, it's convenient, but you got to go to the store to get it. And then you never know yeah. exactly of how well it's going to be cooked. I mean, those guys are great. They do the best job they can. But all the goodness is dripping down into a pan in the ground, and then you just they pick yeah. it out. They give it to you. It's usually dry. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a good product, but you gotta drive to the store, you pay twice the price. Do it at home yeah. and say, and if you don't use all that stock, save it, freeze it. Use that for chicken soup, yeah. use that when you make sauces. All these yes. things are not hard, it's just if you don't have the tools to do it, right. if you don't have the tools to do it, you wind up buying it. This is a way to do it yourself, right. and Ming, you've made it easy. I mean, honestly, it couldn't be easier. Yeah, they, I get, if you cook your family four meals, you just got your air fryer for free. Yeah. Right. The amount of money that you save by cooking at home and the amount of joy you're going to get more joy by cooking at home. Yeah. Right. Kids love when parents cook at they home. Love parents it. love when parents cook at home. Yeah. Right? I mean, it, there's I don't know if there's a better way to say I love you and, and keep a family together, the glue of the family. Totally. But with food. Yeah. Right? I, Mexican, like, Italians, oh, yeah. Jews, Chinese, yep. all of us. It's all about food, food and food. Yeah. Right? When I was the youngest in my family and so I was home when my mom was home. But I would watch her cook. That's why I got an interest and I got into the restaurant business. I loved watching all the things she did. And then we would have yeah. our dinner time with all the brothers and we'd all be sitting there, my two brothers and my dad, and we'd have the big meal. And people don't do that enough nowadays. And I'm hoping one of the positive things that comes out of this is we start eating together <laughs> with our families again. Because yeah. you know as a busy yeah as a busy guy, busy, busy person in this business, we never really have time to be with our families like we used to. If you get something right. like this, it'll make that time even more pleasurable because you'll spend a lot less yep. time doing your cooking and you'll get better results and you'll get to spend more time with your family. And as I said, every, it does it all. There's really, I haven't found anything you can't cook inside here. Yeah. And I've and, had it. Can I add, can I add to yeah, that? Go. So everyone thinks, oh, summertime. Why would I want to pressure cook in the summertime? You can make rice and beans, air pressure cook. You have yes. the best rice and beans for your barbecue. You can make your own potatoes. Take whole potatoes and pressure cook them, then cut them up for potato salad. So all the side dishes and everything, no, you can't cook a whole pig in here. No, but can you cook a whole pork shoulder and then crisp it up? Absolutely. <laughs> can you cook a pork shoulder and short ribs and get them beautiful, tender, and flavorful, and then put them on your grill outside and give them a little charcoal? That's the great way to do braised yeah. stuff. So braising and pressure cooking, is alive during the summer, right? You, yeah. It's not just a winter dish. It's not just for a meaty dish as a stew. Yeah. There's yep. so much more. Your mac and cheeses, your chilies, all of those that you still eat in the summer, you can use a pressure cooker and this, and then crisp it up yeah. with the air fryer. We could talk forever about it, infusing things with flavor. I mean, it, you will learn as you go with this machine. That's the best part. I mean, you'll look and be like, wow, I can do this. Wow, I can, oh my, it's really an exciting thing to have, especially while we are spending a lot of time at home and cooking at home. Ming Tsai, yep. always a pleasure to see you, my friend. And finally, a good, a good opportunity to be able to work with you again. I look forward to seeing you yeah, again yeah. soon, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am back at eight o'clock. So if you guys are thinking about this, check me out for my awesome. last.
Cloud City, 8 o'clock tonight. Guy, right. you're the best, man. Thanks, buddy. You too. You. See you soon. Thanks, Take Ming. Care. All right, stick around, everybody. Uh, we've got Marlo. She's coming up next. She's got Lancome. She's got lots of great things. I'll see you uh, Saturday. For now, that's clever. It's 7 Eastern time. Uh, enjoy your day. Stay healthy. It's all of our responsibility to slow the spread of the coronavirus. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and stay home unless absolutely necessary. You can still use your outdoor spaces like yards and decks. It's also okay to go for a walk or exercise outside. Wear a cloth face covering, stay at least six feet away from other people, try not to touch any surfaces, and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds as often as possible. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. HSN customer service is excellent. Always pleasant, professional. The customer service is excellent. The customer service reps are always very helpful and very friendly. They're always very accommodating. They're always very quick. Customer service has been consistently good and it's reliable. It's like talking to a friend and you're going shopping with a friend and you're like, oh, I want one of these. And then sometimes I'll say, whoa, but have you seen this? I ended up buying more than what I called in.